Right now, a neighborhood in Mount Vernon rattled after a car crashed into a dry cleaner. WMAR 2 News' Eddie Kadem is live at the scene. And Eddie, is everyone okay? Yeah, Mallory, I've been talking to people in the area. Everybody is okay out here right now. I want to show you a couple of tow trucks just came in. Another one just pulled up. This car that you're seeing here was crashed into this dry cleaners on the right here. We just got some information from police telling us that this was part of a stolen car investigation. And police say that the drivers, two males, drove into the side of this building uh, during their pursuit, during that investigation. Uh, you can see here parts of the car when it was crashed into the building. I talked to some people in the area, um, the owner of the building, who says a woman was at the counter inside when this happened. And she's obviously shaken up, but she is okay. And he said that it doesn't appear that the damage to the building itself is too bad at this point. A woman we talked to who saw the aftermath says that she saw a man try to run from the car, but he was quickly stopped by police when they drew out their gun and demanded that he stopped running. She says the other person in the car couldn't get out of the car, but when he did, he was uh, just gave himself up to police immediately. Police saying that both of the suspects were brought to the hospital uh, tonight. They are being evaluated. We don't know what their conditions are or um, any charges at this point. Uh, we did ask if the if the drivers of these uh, of the vehicle or the other suspect in the vehicle were wanted for anything or what, what, what was going on in that scenario. We're waiting to get more information on that. Uh, as of right now, the dry cleaner, uh, we have seen just in the last couple minutes, a couple people come in, actually be able to get their dry cleaning. So it looks like they're going to open back up tonight, at least for people that need to pick their stuff up. But obviously this neighborhood very shaken up, very upset that something happened here like this. So we're going to send it back to you guys live in Mount Vernon. Eddie Catum. WMA Archer News.